Hey Sagittarius, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Not going to take these many together. Passion. Intuition. You both could be desiring each other a lot. You know, even if you are at a distance from each other, there's still a burning desire you have for each other. And this is a very, a very telepathic kind of um, connection. Songs could be particularly important. Your intuition could be telling things about this person. You just know things about this person. Look at that, Divine Feminine. Can you see that? Divine Feminine and Twin Flames. Mm. And here we have Commitment. Could be dealing with a Twin Flame uh, connection here. Um, More than this talks to me, this is the feminine energy is your intuition. And we already have the intuition card here, right? So this is double confirmation that you are somehow tapping into that feminine energy inside of you. You could be extra sensitive at this, like during this time, you could be extra sensitive, you know, like to people's energy. You might be getting a lot of downloads. You might be even feeling overwhelmed of very easily, especially if you're socializing with people or to, um, you know, like you're finding it difficult to socialize with people right now. You could also be not, you know, you aren't being able to resonate with people you usually used to. So groups of people, your friends, family, colleagues, co-workers, whatever. Uh, if you are finding it difficult to resonate with people around you right now. You could be also out, outgrowing people, <clears throat> outgrowing connections, uh, relationships, romantic or otherwise, that don't, that aren't for your best in the long run. You're outgrowing those. This person could be thinking of commitment here. Marriage, promises. Yeah, this person is missing you a lot. And I'm getting um, more than commitment. I'm getting intimacy from this card here. You know? And intimacy doesn't always necessarily have to be physical intimacy. Emotional intimacy. A closeness. A belonging a, is belongingness a word well you get it right belonging to each other a very intimate very warm energy I'm getting from this card here you made this person feel very comfortable I mean, not in the, like you made them feel very safe and comfortable. You both could have made each other feel very safe and comfortable. Or, But I'm particularly getting this person feeling very safe and comfortable here. Yeah, I said, right, you are outgrowing people. Self-growth, self-focused, soul finding. When you're nourishing your soul, when you're listening to your intuition, you're stepping into your divine feminine energy. It's very, it, it happens a lot of times that we, when we are focusing on our self-growth, nourishing ourselves and our soul, 
We outgrow relationships, we outgrow connections and people. We find it difficult to resonate with old patterns, old people, old groups of friends. Yeah, you're also letting go of things. Look at that, letting, releasing and finality here together. This is letting go of things that don't make you happy anymore. Saying your farewells. You could be moving places even, you know, or thinking of moving places. But there's a shift in your life. There's a shift in your energy that is happening. And yeah, we do have the world here, right? At the bottom of the deck. And the hermit, which is very apt here because... Hmm. Because firstly, the world is about finality. The world is about finality and releasing. Letting go of things, of connections, of people that don't serve you anymore. The world also does talk about traveling. I did mention, right? I'm getting the traveling in jail. The world does talk about traveling. The world also talks about closing old cycles and beginning new chapters in your life. And we do have six of swords here. So six of swords is... Uh, moving to calmer waters, healing yourself, letting go, choosing yourself and letting the past be in the past. The hermit also talks about taking time alone, finding those answers, focusing on oneself, focusing on um, self growth and all of those things. We also have a snake here. Uh, snakes talks about transformation. Um, this also snakes also, I mean, it kind of looks like uh, eight or an infinity symbol. So it reminds me of the Scorpio energy, eighth house, transformation, birth and, sorry, death and rebirth. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. But yeah, you are, I feel like you're starting new here almost. Regarding something at least. This person is looking at your pictures a lot. You could be looking at the pictures as well. This person could have really messed up big time. At least they feel that they have they messed up big time. Could have given uh, could it's very possible this person was hot and cold, gave you mixed signals, confused the heck out of you. Could have been someone whose heart chakra is a bit blocked. I'm getting that four of pentacles kind of energy. And that is why they gave you mixed signals and confused you. Yeah, this was the kind of person who wasn't ready to settle down. They were all about fun and games. And the reason this person is all about this fun and games because they are escaping something. They are running away from themselves. You could have met each other at a party or something, you know. You both could be very fun-loving. I mean, I, I will say Sagittarius is a pretty fun-loving sign. Fun sign. Um, it's very young energy almost I get from Sagittarius. So it's very possible that you both had the very same kind of vibe. I did mention that you both made each other feel very comfortable. You felt very safe with each other. So it's possible this is that energy. Yeah, this person definitely has some self-sabotaging issues here. Uh, th this person, no matter how much confident they might come across externally, internally this person has a lot of ego and fear going on. Their ego self talks too much and their ego self sabotages good things. They also lack the confidence. This is not really a confident person or it's very possible this person made you feel like uh, 
you know doubt yourself you know people who make you doubt yourself because in this energy in this card here she it almost looks like she's fixing her crown right there's a crown here and she's fixing it so yes this person somehow could have made you doubt yourself some way or the other look at that judgment judgment talks about second chances The world and the hermit at the bottom of the deck. too many cards it's very possible this person was stuck in their ways I also have the hermit and the page of wands ace of wands so this could be a very immature energy who wasn't page of wands page of pentacles yeah this could have been very immature energy and someone who was stuck in their ways there was a bit of stubbornness with this person they also made you feel very abandoned i did i did mention right this person some way or the other made you feel doubt yourself the five of pentacles can totally be that energy of someone who's makes you feel not good enough look at that justice in reverse the fool two of cups so the two of cups and yeah this card totally gives me that two of cups kind of vibe you know the imagery especially is very similar i did want to mention actually when i saw this card i'm getting the two of cups kind of vibe from this card but yeah uh, two of cups there was love here there was mutual love here and yes as i said you both made each other feel very safe comfortable three of cups is i did mention right you both could be the kind of people who loves partying a lot or you met through common friends at a party but there was love here whether this person wants to accept it or not there was love here but with the justice the imbalance came when this person felt that emotions for you felt that love for you but they weren't ready to take that leap of faith so they felt the emotions but when it came to taking action towards this connection that's where this person lacked it this person wasn't ready to level up to step up for the transformation to happen they weren't ready for it This person also could have, I did mention, right, the four of pentacles kind of energy, someone who is emotionally a bit, bit blocked, whose heart is a bit blocked because they're running away from themselves. So there, there's two of cups also talks about a soulmate connection. So the connection was pretty strong and you both felt this connection. But this person wasn't ready to step up. They, they weren't ready to level up. You could be dealing with the Libra, Aries, Aquarius.
page of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah there was immaturity here there was immaturity here This person also could have been a um, be uh, they were a bit manipulative with the words. But yeah, there's this this is the repeating energy of this person not wanting to step up. They had this opportunity to manifest a beautiful connection here. But they were not ready for it. The page of wands is not ready for commitment. The page of wands is not ready for um, ten of pentacles kind of connection. He's not. So, this person just wasn't ready for that. Could be dealing with a Gemini Virgo. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, three of cups and the hermit and the ten of cups. King of swords, the world. All right. So in the present moment, this person has looked for those answers they have uh, had those epiphanies they have some realization here also the hermit talks about absence makes the heart grow fonder so because they don't have have access to your energy anymore because there's a distance there's a separation that has happened here this person now misses you a lot their um, heart has grown fonder The heart misses you. There's almost this uh, very sad low energy I'm getting from here that this person just misses you. They miss this ten of cups kind of energy that you both shared. The comfort that you both provided to each other. The love, the shared love here. The shared happiness. They miss it. This person has also realized because we have the three of cups and the ten of cups here right so this is seven of cups in the mix this person has also realized that because of their seven of cups we do it don't have seven of cups here right seven of cups is a very immature kind of energy because this is someone who is confused by options who is confused by like they're just confused in the head someone who's not sorted when it comes to the thoughts this person is really regretting that because they were themselves very confused and gave you mixed signals, hot and cold, wasn't sure. They confused you and ultimately they lost the opportunity of this 10 of cups. They lost this 10 of cups and 3 of cups because of they themselves were confused. They weren't ready for that change. This person has certainly realized that it's their own issue because of which you both aren't really right now together i will clarify the knight of wands here but with the death here this person is going through a transformation death and hermit is a lot of uh, epiphanies transformation realizations happening seeing the truth the cards feel a bit stiff today i mean during this reading the cards feel a bit stiff oh four of wands and look at that bottom of the deck is three of swords and the ace of cups 
the, yeah as i was saying i did mention right i'm getting that sad energy the sad kind of energy and this is why because look at that ten of cups three of cups four of wands this is a lot of happiness and with the three of swords here all this happiness is gone because of their own stupid whatever you know you know like stupid actions because of their own confusion they're heartbroken they are sad because there was a lot of happiness here and the possibility in the uh, uh, of you two building a future and having a beautiful future together was a lot but they messed up ace of cups feelings they miss you you were offering them this cup of love but they were like well i don't know i don't think i'm ready for this and they weren't they weren't ready for this so yes but they do feel heartbroken here Eight of Pentacles. The Sun. The Empress. Ooh. Look at that. The Lovers and the Five of Wands. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Libra, Taurus. I'm gonna first take out the true intentions. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven Seven. King of Cups. Okay. Swords, eight of wands. All right, and bottom of the deck is page of wands, and the nine of wands, judgment, moon. Yeah, it's it's a very similar energy here. Okay, so you could be dealing with uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, rest I've mentioned. All right. So this person is... They want to work on this connection. This person is actually thinking of long term here. They are having a lot of clarity. They are slowly understanding things clearly. Not to mention the sun and the empress. This feels like this person realizing or seeing you as their person, as the person they want to end up with, as the person for the long term. This is how they're seeing you. And this person is uh, understanding, you know, the 
the grass is greener where you water it that energy this is what this person is slowly understanding and that is why this person is thinking long term because we have eight of pentacles as well as the seven of pentacles i'm going to clarify the seven of swords but this person wants long term with you also they have found a lot of clarity because the sun talks about the sun whatever the sun is also sun and moon right this is these are counterpart energies so wherever the sun is whatever illusions whatever fears there are the sun can remove all of that because sun is clarity and illusion is what you're just making a fake fake scenarios in your head that is what illusion generally means so yes it clears everything out and makes you helps you see things clearly so this person is seeing things clearly and they actually want to work on this connection with the empress there yeah they want a new beginning the stable kind of new beginning. So the moon energy is repeated twice here. And the Ten of Cups is twice as well. So Ten of Cups is two times. The Moon twice. This is just repeating energies. The world. We already heard the world once, right? Or it was at the bottom of the deck. I think it was the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. High Priestess. Okay, yeah, this person is insecure about expressing themselves, expressing their feelings. This person is insecure about it because they feel like the ball is in your court. Whatever you do, they, they will have to agree to it. They will just have to go with it. This person doesn't feel like they have much choice here regarding your decision. Um, this person might also be thinking that once you have made the decision, you're going to stick by it. You're not going to let them in. This person might be scared that, I don't know why I suddenly I feel like my voice or throat is choking almost. So yeah, this person is having difficulty expressing themselves. They are scared of telling their truth. They are scared of opening up. King of Cups has a lot of emotions. The King of, King of Cups here, he has a lot of emotions. But the King of Cups emotion is very deep down. And he might not even express those emotions. And here with the Seven of Swords, this person might feel like uh, it's, it's not that safe to express their emotions. Because you're silent. And your silence is speaking volumes to them. Your silence might mean to this person that you are outright moving on. And that is why they're scared coming towards you and opening up, being vulnerable. Because they want this Ten of Cups with you. They see the potential of this Ten of Cups. But then the moon is repeated here twice as well. So, they see the Ten of Cups but they are scared. They're insecure. They feel the fear whenever they think of coming towards you. Because this entire thing is four of swords, eight of wands, page of wands. So the silence, they want to break the silence. And they want to communicate to you. This is communication, fast communication. Eight of wands and page of wands. Page of wands are mess pages are messengers. So page of wands is communication. Eight of wands is communication. So there's a double confirmation of communication. Especially if there's silence between the both of you with that four of swords. Four of swords can talk about silence, no communication. If there is no communication between the both of you, this person wants to talk. Because they want another chance with you, with the judgment. They want second chance here. They want to make things right. Work on this connection. 
but with the nine of wands here and the two of swords at the bottom of the deck this person might truly fear you could have blocked this person you know like outright blocked this person or if you haven't really blocked this person you are energetically blocking them and that is what they are scared of that you're going to reject them they can fear almost this rejection sorry they can feel this rejection coming from you This person could be just overthinking also that you are going to reject them because of whatever has happened in the past. I mean, um, you had feelings for them. You did love them, but they just neglected you. So now you're not, you are pissed at them. That's what I heard. So you're not going to give them another chance. This is what this person is scared about. But yeah, we have Eight of Wands, Page of Wands and Judgment. So yeah, someone strong communication and someone actually wanting to talk about another chance here. We did have commitment here, right? And yeah, this can totally be that Ten of Cups energy as well because this is happiness together. All right. Well, that's your reading, um, Sagittarius. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.